family so back with another news update for this week so in popular news joe buttons once again has been in the news headlines um you know recently came under fire after publicly firing rory from his joe buttons podcast and you know there's a bit of fallout with that which we reported on but now it was also reported during the week that he had been accused of sexual harassment by podcast host olivia dope and there was an apology issued so Olivia Dope says that Budden continuously made sexually suggestive remarks to her, made her feel extremely uncomfortable. She said during the episode of See the Thing for the Joe Budden Network. So, um, there we see a picture of him here. You know, we've definitely seen a lot in the entertainment business over the past few years, you know, with the Me Too movement and stuff. So um, it says, Olivia Dope, a DJ and former host of the Joe Budden Network podcast, See The Thing Is, released a video on May the 17th in which she alleges that Joe Budden sexually harassed her during the recording of an episode. So I don't know if you're saying it was a one-time occurrence or something that he said, but she said he was a guest on the episode and um, she said he continuously made sexual suggestive remarks to her that made her feel extremely uncomfortable as well as fearful of dampening the mood if she didn't laugh along while he made those same remarks to her. So, you know, um, it says she described the incident where he asked to hug her if unbeknownst to her until she actually watched back the episode that he was moving his hips while he was hugging her, she says. So um, Budden's actually addressed the video and the incidents in the statement, according to Rolling Stone and in the statement to Rolling Stone, he said, as a podcaster, it is my job to address topics and create dialogue around them. During the conversation on See The Thing Is podcast, I didn't handle the topics with the sensitivity they deserved. I recognize my words and power in that situation created an upsetting environment for Olivia. Upon reflection, both the network and I take accountability for this. I apologize sincerely to Olivia, her former co-host, our staff and the public. In an effort to not further any trauma, the episode will be removed from our platforms. We support all women's rights to feel comfortable and protected in the workplace. We fell short of that in this instance. We support Olivia in her quest to heal, applaud her for finding the strength to share her experience and wish her the best in all her future endeavors. I'm taking the time to listen and learn. We have already begun to make the necessary changes to ensure this is a safe environment for all. Moving forward, we at the network endeavor to continue to elevate black women's voices and create opportunities to have constructive conversations to impact change. So um, we see some Instagram stuff. You can check this out on this website, Pitchfork. You know, I'm gonna play this, this is 26 minutes. So this is when she um, speaks out and why she quit the Joe Brothers Network. So um, let us know your thoughts on this guy's um, picking up from there. It's also been reported that Nick Cannon could be expecting baby number seven with wilding out model Alyssa Scott. So um, it says Nick Cannon, the busiest man in show business and between the sheets. The 40 year old is reportedly expecting his seventh child with former while in out model Alyssa Scott. Alyssa set the streets of social media ablaze on Thursday when she took to Instagram and posted a photo of her baby bump and the caption on the post read Zen S Cannon. So um, yeah, we see um, the picture she posted. Zen S Cannon. When a comment asked if Nick was the father, she responded with faces like that. So, um, you know, it says Nick has every right to be fruitful and multiply, and he can certainly afford to have a church of children. It's just the fact that he started to give community peen vibes, considering the fact that he's also expecting baby twins with Abby De La Rosa. So, um, 
and he says four months ago he welcomed the baby girl with Brittany Bell. Now I'm not sure who all these people are, but it's kind of interesting. Nick Cannon he has a lot of stuff to say on the um, sometimes on the black issues and stuff, but when it comes to the women, <laughs> we we did hear him speak about that with Riza Islam on his podcast, but. Um, I don't want to say too much. So he says, it's no secret Nick has had quite a challenging year with the backlash of fallout from his anti-Semitic remarks. He says he may have sought some kind of counseling or therapy, but clearly he went for the sexual healing route. So um, let us know your thoughts on this guy's Nick Cannon in the news with Alyssa Scott. I'll be expecting baby number seven. Another news has been reported that YNW Melly has spent at least 70 days in solitary confinement for misbehavior, including overflowing the toilets. So um, this has been reported on Plug Sound TV and other social media sites saying that he spent possibly 70 days or at least 70 days in solitary for misbehavior. So jail disciplinary reports reveal he was ordered to spend months in solitary confinement on multiple jail policy violations, deliberately overflowing the toilet, threatening a guard, fighting inmates, and making freeway calls were among rules Jeff jail staff said that he broke. So um YW Melly was arrested in 2019, February 13th, for two counts of first degree murder. They said that him and another rapper YNW Bort- Bortland killed two of their friends and staged the crime to make it look like a drive-by shooting. So Melly, real name Jamal Demons, was in the midst of an upward career trajectory. So um, he's currently in jail. I don't know how much time he's serving for this. So if he's still waiting for more to come, and yeah. So we don't know if there's any more to come or um, so. We'll keep you guys updated. In other rap news, the Outlaws, Edie and Young Noble have announced the Outlaws Hemp partnership between leading scientific minds in the hemp world and the remaining rap members of the Outlaws, producing groundbreaking products that offer the smoothest, most flavorful hemp experience is what the brand is all about. So they have a website up, outlawshemp.com, where you can get your edibles, smokables they've got oils you know a whole lot of different stuff so um would encourage you guys to go out and check that out you can learn more about the outlaws you can shop and you can um definitely get hooked up with some dope cbd products in other weed smoking news master p 520 cannabis freedom day was touted as a major success the day celebrated the life of fate vincent winslow raised a lot of awareness about people wrongfully incarcerated for being caught with marijuana and especially with a lot of the legalization and stuff we see happening now. So it was a lot of protests um, on legislative change. They had a lot of products out there, a lot of people was out. It was a dope event. It was a very successful. Recommend you to go check it out. You can go on to the icecreamshop.com or you can go on to, I do believe, Freedom. See right there, 520.org. So you can spell it out 520.org. So I uh, recommend you guys to go check that one now. Yeah, and there was some online backwards and forwards this week between the game and Jake Paul after a tw- uh, beef going backwards and forwards. The game says whichever Paul brother he sees first will be eating cement. So, um, you know, Jake Paul says if things might get physical. YouTuber and the hip hop star going at it this week. The game posted a message to Twitter saying, Yeah, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, meet me and my little brother downtown LA in front of Staples Center and let's just fight. Heads up, fades, said the game in the tweet. No gloves, no money needed. Just answer me and my brother will fuck up you and your brother shit. So uh, then we see the tweet, you know, apologies for the language for any young people listening. So um, it says Jake Paul clearly not wanting to stay quiet on social media. I wasn't long before he fired back with a response for his part. 
a YouTube personality turned fighter who's an undefeated pro boxer. Doesn't exactly accept the challenge, though he confidently tells the game who he sees as the victor if the two ever comes to blows. He says, hate it or love it, you will get knocked the F out. So, um, the game shot back, said, whichever one of y'all I see eating cement first. So, um, so he said, both poor brothers have been controversial for their antics on YouTube. And that's since carried over to their boxing careers. Logan Paul has a bit less luck in the ring with his brother with his pro record, currently sitting at 0 on 1. Makes him an underdog leading into his exhibition fight against Floyd Mayweather next month. And Jake Paul's got his own record now, which is 2 and 0. So, um, yeah, let us know what you think it is. It's the rap game, the entertainment game. We seen Soldier Boy a few weeks ago with Beefy with Randy Orton. Uh, you know, the sports world and the, the entertainment world colliding. Is this a work or is this a shoot? Um, let us know. Moving on from that in the sports world. Lastly, Kwame Brown has um, made major headlines for going off on other people in regards to some statements that was made against them. Apparently, it all kicked off over a podcast where Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson were talking and speaking on some stories from the early 2000s. And his name came up and, you know, he responded a few days later after listening to the podcast, going off on his YouTube and, you know, really, some say, taking it a bit personal with him, you know, going into different jibes. He said that Barnes was Golden Jackson into talking trash using some off-color racial remarks about him not being black enough to hang with the black folks but too dark to kick it with the whites so um he was definitely offended by the stuff that they said and he let it be known you know he took to his YouTube and put out a whole bunch of videos so you know you can really check them out there's, there's quite a lot of them and I think that's pretty much it for this week's news. We're going to wrap it up right there. Don't forget, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, sub. Peace. family don't forget to like share and subscribe and check us out on about.online.com don't forget to check us out on facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content